Hello, my beautiful hair lounge community. Welcome back to the hair lounge. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to get different types of curls using your flat iron. Stay tuned and we'll get right into the video. First, let's talk about what kind of flat iron you need. I don't know if you know this, but your flat iron might not have curved plates on it. Meaning the plates that get warm or heat up, sometimes they're square looking. So if the corners are square and not curved or rounded, you do not have the right kind of flat iron to be able to curl your hair. So make sure you're checking your flat iron. I will tell you, I have two flat irons that I absolutely love. I love my GHD, which stands for good hair day or i also like my chi flat iron depending on what kind of hair you have will determine what kind of flat iron you have if you have fine hair or super thick coarse hair you're gonna want a flat iron that you are able to adjust meaning the temperature so the temperature setting you want to be able to adjust that if you cannot adjust it you might be using too much heat on your hair if you have fine hair or if you have super thick coarse curly hair you might need to bump the heat up a little bit so it all depends on the type of texture you have so make sure you're choosing the right one for your hair type if you need help at all whatsoever just leave a comment down below and i can guide you on what type of flat iron you should get for your hair because you know i always link everything down in the description box below all right so now let's talk about curling your hair with the flat iron so depending on how you're holding your flat iron you can get different curls let me show you so here is my ghd as you can see the lights flashing i have it on. I will tell you, when you are curling your hair, you always want to make sure your flat iron opening is facing down. The reason why, when you're holding it straight up, you are not able to slide down your hair correctly and leave those ends straight, which is kind of the, the newer way to curl your hair. A lot of times people don't go all the way to the very ends. They leave them a little straighter so it looks more lived in. So always keep the blade or the plates opening section down. So for example, I'm right-handed. So this side might seem a little bit easier, but when you get to this side, most people will hold their plates straight open like this and it's gonna give you a different angle. Make sure when you're doing it on the opposite side, you are keeping those plates pointing straight down at the floor. Now, another thing is, is when you're curling your hair, you wanna make sure you're using exactly the same angle on the left as on the right. So let me show you what I mean by that. So when I am going on my left side of my head, as you can see, I'm gonna be holding my flat iron where this part where my hand is, is gonna be closer to my head and then the opening is going to be further from my head. So make sure when you are doing the same thing on the right side, you're doing it exactly the same way. When you're curling it, keeping that flat iron pointed down, keep that flat iron closer to the head where your hand is, and when it's pointing straight down, you wanna make sure that that opening is pointing to the floor. It takes a little time to get used to, but that's going to assure that your curls on the left and the right are gonna be exactly the same. Leave me a comment down below and tell me when you curl your hair, you notice one side looks really good, but for some reason, the other side, it just does not have the same looking curls. A lot of times, the way you're holding your flat iron is the culprit. All right, now let me actually show you different ways to curl your hair to achieve different types of curls with your flat iron. So we're gonna start with this very front section. I always like to curl the hair closest to my face away from my face. I'm gonna show you how to get longer looking curls that are a little straighter on the ends. When you put the flat iron in, you wanna put the flat iron in, half turn it, and then just slide it down the hair shaft then leave those ends straight out. So as you can see, it's a longer beachy wave with straight ends. I'm gonna show you again, holding your flat iron straight up and down, vertical. Vertical or kind of, you know, at an angle. When you're going down the hair shaft, you're moving not fast, but fairly fast. The longer you hold it on your section, the tighter the curl is going to be. 
half turn and then just slide it straight down leaving those ends out and that is going to give you a longer looking beach wave and I will tell you so as you can see the curls are more towards the bottom if you want more curl up towards this top start turning it faster closer to your scalp And then you're going to get more curl up towards that top section versus keeping it at the ends. On the right side, I'm going to show you a completely different way to curl. Instead of holding the flat iron straight up and down or vertical, I'm going to show you horizontal and the type of curl you'll get. It's going to be a lot tighter. We're going to grab our section. So we're going to put it in, half turn it, and then slide it all the way down, keeping the flat iron horizontal. So as you can see, it's gonna give you a lot tighter, fuller curl. So depending on, for either type of curl, if you want your curls to be tighter, you're gonna turn your wrist more. So I'll show you, on this one I only did a half turn. I'm gonna turn it all the way full twist. Okay, we're gonna put it in, we're gonna turn it all the way and we're gonna slide it all the way down the hair keeping those ends still in the flat iron. And as you can see, it gives you a lot fuller of a curl, a lot more body up through this top section. But as you can see, these curls are longer and these ones are a lot shorter looking and have a little bit more fullness. Holding your flat iron a completely different way is gonna achieve different looks, which is why I like curling with the flat iron for my clients because some clients, they like fuller, more voluminous curls and some, they like them you know, a little bit flatter, not so tight looking, a little more stretched out. So I'm gonna show you on this side again, turning my wrist more still with the longer stretched out curl so i'm going to put it in and i'm going to turn it not just a half turn i'm going to turn it completely and then we're just going to slide it straight down leaving the ends out so as you can see the more you turn your wrist the more curl you're going to get it's a little fuller because it was in there a little bit longer and a little bit more turn but they're still strong stretched out curls compared to these ones these ones have more of bounce and body to it, and these ones are a little bit more stretched out. Which curl do you guys like? Do you guys like more of the stretched out, longer looking curls, or do you like more the right side where it's a little bit fuller looking? Personally, this is how I always wear my hair. You guys see it more often. So this is kind of how I end up wearing it. But these ones are super pretty, and if you're wanting more of a Hollywood look, I would suggest this side. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it gives you a few tips and tricks to use that trusty flat iron completely different ways. Again, as always, if you like what you see, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do it right now. I'm waiting. Join this hair lounge community. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.